In this video, I'll share how you can use templates in OneNote to boost your productivity. We'll review why using templates is useful, how we can use existing templates that are built into OneNote, and how we can create our own templates. And lastly, I have a bonus tip for people who use elaborate notebook setup, so stick around for that. And before we get into it, I want to clarify that this is not a tutorial to make things visually appealing on a page, like adding background pictures and stickers. This video is primarily concerned with increasing speed and efficiency in our workflow by using templates. Now, if the templates we use happen to also look nice, that's a bonus, but again, not a primary objective here. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's start with why a template might be useful. Templates can be described as pre-designed documents we can use to create new documents quickly without having to think about the structure and formatting. These are some of the templates that are built into OneNote. Whether we're taking meeting notes or creating a project overview, using these templates will help us save time by eliminating the need for us to type in generic information and ensure we don't miss critical pieces of information. I was recently in a series of meetings where we workshop project priorities with different regional partners. We use the RICE framework for this, and don't worry if you don't know what that is, but knowing we would use this framework to review project priorities for each region, I just created a simple layout to aid in note-taking and saved it as a template. So even as I jump from meeting to meeting, whenever I found myself in these project review sessions, I could quickly pull up the template and be ready not only to guide the meeting, but capture the notes in an organized manner. How we can use existing templates that are built into OneNote. So how can we use these templates? Let's start with the ones built right into OneNote. We can view these by going to the Insert tab in the ribbon, then choosing Page Templates. That'll open up the Templates pane to the right. Templates are grouped by categories. We can expand each category by clicking on the arrow next to it. When we select a template, it'll add a page with the template applied. Let's try another template. As you can see, there are quite a bit to choose from, so be sure to explore. One pro tip I want to mention here. If you find a template that you like, but not a fan of some of the accompanying images, you can remove it or even replace it with your own background. So in this example, I think this image is a little distracting. So I can right click anywhere on the background, uncheck set picture as background, and just delete it. And that's what all these backgrounds are, just normal images. So if you wanna add your own image, just paste it into the note page, right click on it, and set it as a background. Anyway, now let's suppose that this section is only for business meeting notes and we want to use this one specific template. In that case, we can choose a template as the default just for this section. Click on the arrow. And at first the list seems a bit random as it's not alphabetical, but it's actually sorted exactly by how it's listed in the pane. So let's skip down to the business section then choose Detailed Meeting Notes. Now, whenever we create a new page, we see the template applied. If we go back to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and if we click the arrow instead of the icon, we get a list of the recently used templates. This is a quick way to insert the templates that we use often. How we can create our own templates. What if we want to create our own template like the example I shared earlier about the RICE framework. This is actually very easy to do. Any existing page can be saved as a template. So we just need to lay out the page how we want, make sure that it's blank without any notes, then click on the page templates and choose current page as a template. This template will now be saved within the My Template section. So whenever you want to create a new page with this template, just select it from there. Here are some of the other template ideas you can use to get your creative juices flowing. Bonus tip. 
Okay, so this last tip is technically not a template, but it can be used like a template. Let's say that I have a notebook with an elaborate organization structure set up with multiple sections and section groups. This is an actual setup that I use to manage larger projects. Whenever I work on a new project, I don't want to have to create all these sections. So we can create a baseline notebook laid out exactly how we want. And before we start adding any new notes into it, save it. And if you want to double check where this notebook is saved, we can go to file, then info. In this example, I have four active notebooks, but we're interested in the last one called project template. So let's click on settings, then property. It shows us that this notebook is in my OneDrive in a folder I named OneNote. So I can open my browser and navigate to it and can simply copy this file. I'll copy to the same folder, but you can of course change it if you want. Then I'll rename the copied notebook. Let's call it Project Falcon. And now when I open it, I see all of the tabs that I laid out. This is just another way to keep things consistent and efficient if you want all your notebooks to be set up the same way. Well, that's about it for using templates. If you're interested in learning more about OneNote, watch this video next on using tags. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thanks, and see you in the next video.